Happy Monday, my thrifting, reselling friends. Good to see you. Curly Joe here. I'm a reseller. Reseller? Reseller. I'm not even from Boston. <laughs> I'm a reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And this is a huge Goodwill haul. It's taken me a couple of days. I think I've gone to four different stores for all of this. Yeah, so I did some at the, the Catholic thrift store last week. Oh, snap. I think I've got some of those outside. I do. Dang it. And then um, Goodwill trip, two Goodwill trips this morning, and another Goodwill haul last week. An entire bag I forgot about. So needless to say, I am behind. I'm going to be kind to myself and say I'm behind. I am behind. I have so much in inventory. It's, it's insane. Um, this is a piece I forgot to show you guys last week. It's a Gianni Beanie uh, summer dress. I think I picked it up for a dollar. It's got a split. I do have pants on my mannequin. I keep, I keep uh, pants on her because when I do tops, I want the bottom to be covered so it looks a little bit better. I did pick up this beaded belt today for this is three dollars i got 20 percent off of it isn't this just the bee's knees i love this i love this belt it doesn't look very good on me with this t-shirt but picture in your mind's eye <laughs> come with me to the 1970s see this gorgeous beaded belt with the tag around your favorite dress, coat, skirt, slacks. The sky is the limit. We're gonna be here for a minute. Buckle up, baby. Here we go. A friend of mine found these. The, this is a brand called Cotton On. I've never heard of this brand before. They were only a dollar. They're small. Check out the wide leg. Isn't that fantastic? They're in excellent, excellent condition. Get these puppies steamed. Get them on, this is Betty. Get those on Betty and away we go. I picked this up for my granddaughter. It's a Chelsea and Violet. So at some point it was, you know, probably a lot of money, but that's going to her. And then I picked this up. This is a Zara size 11, 12. So, I don't know if this is a girl's or a guy's. It's just a black basic. This is also going to my grandchildren. They, they can find over it. This is brother and sister. You know, they can find over it. This is a Gianni Beanie. This is also for my granddaughter. Uh, like an overall dress. Really, really cute. You can put a paper bag on her and she looks cute. It just doesn't matter. She just looks good. You can't not make her look good. It's impossible. All of my grandchildren. You can't, there's nothing you can do to make them look bad. This is super fun. Elastic waist. Have no clue who, made of rayon. Tie dye. Balloon pants. With those wild pockets. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Look at the beads. Somebody needs these for Easter. Wouldn't it be great to show up wearing those at an Easter egg hunt? <laughs> um, these are Pranas. Size 30 long. I'm going to guess that this is gusseted. So it's, or, or vintage here in the thighs with the, with the grommets. Those are actual grommets. It has a, the cinching for the waist. Two pockets in the back. I'm sure this one, no, it's just a flap, so there's no Velcro or anything. Two pockets in the front. You've got a pocket here on the side. There is a zipper. Let's see if the zipper works. Gentle. Zipper works. We are good to go, folks. We are good to go. So you've got a straight leg. Hang on. Let's just see. 
There is a snap there. Why is oh uh, okay? So you can fold these up. You fold up past the snap, which is on the inside of the leg here, right? You roll it up and you snap it. So you go from full length to capri, depending on where you are. These do have a flaw. I picked them up anyway, because I know how expensive pranas are if you purchase them retail. The flaw is they are torn here. It's not anything hideous. It certainly isn't anything that a patch won't cover. So back in the 70s, um, if we could patch it and wear it, we would patch it. We would patch it. I went to school with a girl. She had a pair of um, bell bottoms. The entire booty was was patches. That's just what that's just what we did. We didn't throw anything away. These are Joe B. Forty eight percent linen. So, these are a size large. Pockets. It has a wider leg, so they're not straight leg. They're not exactly flare. If these fit me, they're mine. If not, they will be on Poshmark and or eBay, my friends. Oh, I love this skirt. This is a Bella Pogue. It's brand new with tags. Oh my gosh, I bent the tag up. Holy firecracker. It was $6, but I got 20% off. Look at this. Fantastic plaid. I need to back up so you guys can see this. This is a larger size. Oh, it is. It's an XL. This is an XL. This is perfect for spring. Do you guys go to um, the Scottish games where you live? Um, they Look at that beautiful waistline. We They have the Scottish games uh, here in Texas in Salado every year. It's so much fun to go. My husband is of Scottish descent, so he always puts on his kilt. This is a great skirt by Stu Shy, 100% cotton, extra large, elastic waist, pockets. Look at the detail. Look at that gorgeous raw hem type of detail. This is great for spring. Who wouldn't look good in this? Come on now. Put a little pair of tights under it if you wanted to. I picked this up today. This is Jade and Ivory. I've not heard of it before, but with romance and renaissance coming back in this year, everyone needs one of these. Look at that amazing color. Look at it. Look at it. I don't want it. I'm trapped. In really nice. This is nice. Good find. I act like I just went in there and found it, right? <laughs> I did go in there and find it, but it's not like I did a magic trick. This is Chuffy. Gone jamming. Size small. Never heard of this brand. Um, I don't think anybody's ever worn this. Isn't that wonderful? Button detail, size. You know, this is this is an awful big small. Awful big small. It's an oversized small. No fabric tag. It feels it feels like it's a really lovely um, cotton. This also feels like a Europe. Oh, here we go, friends. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Of course. Do I have my glasses? No. Can I see it? No. Chuffy. I knew it. Organic cotton. That's why this feels so great. Look at the gorgeous button detail. This is not a small, small. I mean, I could probably get this on without it being uncomfortable. I'm not going to. Um, these straps are adjustable. Man, this is a great spring or summer piece. I picked up three of these skirts, and I'll tell you why. Well, this is a Max Edition XL, so it's it's this is not a higher end skirt. Um, 
but I, I only paid a dollar for it. The reason I picked these up is because in the spring and the summer, chicks love these things. And they, it doesn't matter what you have on. You can have on a pair of sandals. You can have on a pair of ankle booties. You can have on a pair of knee-high booties. It does not matter. You can have a pair of tennis shoes. You do the top right, and you are styling, baby. I love that navy with the um, khaki color. And then this one is tan or a khaki, which, whichever you would prefer. This is also a max edition. This is a large. I love these skirts. I had two of these myself. Look at the beautiful lace. It's just gorgeous. Uh, a friend of mine, if she sees th she things that I want, she'll pick them up, and, and I do the same for her. Lululemon Skort has a zipper pocket, size 6. Man, I got a lot of skirts today. J. Crew, white eyelet. This is a size, this is a big small, I'm telling you, look at that. Look, it can, I go right all the way around my neck. I love this because I saw you pocket. It has one pocket. Do we have another? Do we have another? Bingo! What a fantastic addition to your spring and summer wardrobe. No stains, no tears. This is going all the way, this is past my knees. What a look. You can wear this to uh, anywhere. A luncheon, out shopping, on an evening out. Pair it with the right something. Lulu Lemon Sports Bra. Camo. Clueless as to the size. You know, you, you know where to find it. It's not like you don't know where to find it. So I bought this pair of leggings that are, I don't know who they are. It doesn't matter. I'm keeping these. I bought these pair of leggings because I've, I've picked up several button-up tops lately. And I normally keep a pair of black pants, but I'm going to switch it to these black leggings on my just to have on my mannequin these were a dollar that way you know my mannequin doesn't look naked true craft I've never heard of these I did not check comps um, because they were a dollar these are a parachute pants can you see them so they're an XL it says parachute pants on them I'm sure they're 100% cotton. Drawstring, drawstring waist. Two back flat pockets. Drawstring ankle. Well, I don't know if you, it's not really a drawstring. It's, you know, you push the doodad in and then you pull. This is a Eight piece for spring. I picked up these Judy Blues. This is a straight fit, distressed, raw hem. It's very raw. Size 1331. I thought those might fit me. Those are not going to fit me. Smells clean. Leaders, letters. So I checked this out, and this is a skirt that basically it does have pockets. Gorgeous plaid. Higher waist. It's one size. So you put this on, and you just pull the belt until it gets to wherever on your waist. It's a midi length. Look at this color. Look at it. Is that stain? That is a stain. <gasps> it's okay. I'll get it out. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no stain. I ain't afraid of no stain. No, -uh, I ain't afraid of no stain. Judy Blue. Slim boot cut. Look from the tag. Look how the amazing condition that that tag is in. So somebody bought these and didn't like them and didn't want to return them. Slim boot cut. Gosh, these are great for summer. These are great for any time. You can wear a hill. You can wear an ankle booty. You can wear sandals. These are in really phenomenal condition. Really good. Okay, that pile's done. I did find a pair of shoes. When I first went in, these were not on the rack. 
Barbara, can you guys see that? Barba Barbiri, made in Italy, size seven, uh, an ankle slide. It's not a square heel, but it's definitely a heel. He's got this. Somebody marked on the bottom of this with a marker. Somebody marked on the bottom of this with a marker. So here's the sales tag. So they have been worn, worn so little that the sales tag is still there. These are a size seven according to a tag that's in here. Let me see if I can find. the This leather feels, okay, it's, it is, it's a size seven leather upper. The leather feels like lamb it's really really of course they're italian which is probably why that's just really soft and really buttery and you can tell here see the size tag is there so whoever bought these did not wear them very often i don't know why i would wear these every day they are amazing and they'll go with anything because of the color right prana 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 Prairie dress, maxi dress, size extra large. I know you want it. I know you need it. Look at that beautiful color. Size extra large. Do we have pockets? <laughs> we have pockets. Elastic waist. I love this. Tiered like a prairie boho look. Um, for you vintage buffs, I picked up two of these. These... Clearly, they're vintage. Clearly, they're army. Well, maybe it isn't clear to anybody. Not everybody has been married to the military uh, the majority of their life. Um, I thought it said a name, but it doesn't. So, that's how it goes together. All of you vintage military gear buff, you know that this is adjustable. I have two of these. One is a little more olive. This one is a little more olive than this one. That one is probably older. Yes, because the, the belt is, the color of the buckle is different. Here is, this one actually has the tag, which I will get my glasses when I list it and um, so I can put in there exactly what it is. This is a Christy by Milano. I know those of you that follow this brand. These are very bohemian, very hippie, very witchy, very goth. <laughs> Just pick all the titles, pick all the little little um, hashtags in there that you want. It's got the it's got the double belt on here. You can wear this. I mean, clearly it's too big for me. Has the faux fur on the collar, long sleeves so that you're, I think, I believe that the long sleeves are by design to kind of keep your hands warm. This is a, oh, this is great. This is a 1XL. That's awesome. I've only found a couple of these in the past. Um, I don't come across these very often. And I, I pick them up because they're so popular. You can wear them with anything. This is a Hammerschmidt. So it's a German brand. This is a size 22. This is a, one of those dresses that the ladies would wear to Oktoberfest. If I get that close, can you see the, the detail on the bodice with these beautiful, and these are, these are buttons. So it buttons all the way down the front. Pockets, we have pockets. We have pockets. And this is longer because, you know, this is actually maxi, depending, of course, depending on how tall you are. I could not leave this there. I could not, and I really couldn't leave it after I comped it. I picked this up last week. Wild Fox. Wild Fox. Uh, 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 uh. 
Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Wine. Por favor. Por favor. Wonderful, wonderful, lightweight sweat, size large. Ooh, this is nice. Great on a rainy day. Uh, Lane Bryant. I picked this up because it was a dollar. And also because it's a blazer. Look at the color. Look at it. Look at the color. Roses, and roses are in this spring. I picked this up last week. This is a true, man, this is heavy. This is a true religion. I don't know if you can tell from that tag. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. I almost gave you guys a kiss. Look at the tag. This is a heavy jacket because it's lined. It feels like a type of a, a flannel, cotton flannel. Very, very bohemian, very, very hippie, very, very Southwest. Size small, distressed on the front. Button cuffs. Oh, this is a nice jacket. I wish it would fit me, but it, it doesn't. This is another Lane Bryant. It's an excellent condition. Ruffle on the sleeves. Blouse, top, tuck it in, tuck it out, however you want to do it. Uh, basic Eileen Fisher, size large. Just your basic gray long sleeve will go with anything. You can wear it by itself. You can put a blazer on top of it. You can put a scarf around it, especially if you have a scarf that you really want the scarf to pop as opposed to the top. This is the piece for you. American rag. Okay, this is a size large American rag with a southwestern print. You've got a cow neck that will tighten. You've got the one pocket with the firecracker. Well, son of a, it's missing some stitches, y'all. That's an easy fix. Long sleeve. American rag is a very expensive brand if you want to purchase it new. I was on there just because I picked up another American rag piece. I can't remember what it was, but I think brand new, they were $200. So, you know, if you got money like that, you go for your bad self. Vintage, all day long, acid washed. Look at the heart detail. It's like a patch, right? With lace behind it have grommets all the way down the left leg more lace on this pocket the the brand is um i think i just said didn't i is traffic these need a wash this is a smaller size this is a size seven eight um they're heavy like this is this is this is not a this this is a no joke denim piece right here. I love the detail. I love the acid wash. Those are probably gonna sell fast. You know what? I had a pair of Western jeans. Did I already show you those? I must have. A friend of mine found this today. Uh, intimately free people. I have two more of these on Poshmark. I don't know what size the other two are. This says it's a small. It's a very big small. But you know, everybody wants to be cozy, right? So I found two of these brands. This is a Starrington blouses by Charlotte, 100% silk. These retail for lots of bucks. Gorgeous, oh man, look at the sleeve. Oh, look at the sleeve. Oh man. Oh man. I mean, just with a pair of black pants, white pants, you could put a belt around it. You could probably not do anything with it because it's so gorgeous. This is a statement piece. That's just my opinion. Like, oh, this, that is a size 14. Oh, like, this must have been the same person. This is another Starrington um, size 14. This looks like it's supposed to be bamboo. You see that? The print, bamboo. Nice detail on the button. It's got gold on top of it. Somehow it's attached with some type of gold. 100% silk. So these do retail for quite a bit of money. 
What's this button? Oh, let me show you this. I can't even show you this detail. Look at that button. For those people who, who work in an office or you just like to dress nice when you go wherever, um, I know that you pay attention to those details. I also know you take very good care of your clothing. This is a La Fleur, which is uh, polyester. Um, La Fleur by La Chine, La Chine, size 12. These also retail for quite a bit of money. This has a loop on the back, which makes me think there must have been a tie with it at one point. Um, you know what? Women wearing men's ties, so this is a higher neck. So if you were to button these, you could actually wear a men's tie with this. You don't have to have the tie that goes with it that went into a bow. You could, you could, you could put a man, oh, I have a tie. Yes, I do. I showed it to you guys last week. Um, I picked up that tie that has the elk on it. That would go great with that. This is a, I believe it's pronounced Baba dress. This is the top. It's not an asymmetrical hem, but it does have extra panels here so that it swings. Look at the gorgeous tie-dye. See the panels? How they've added those panels. This is stretchy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, you can probably wear this as a skirt. Oh, yeah, you can. This is absolutely a maxi skirt all the way down. Um, some of you might... You could probably wear it as a dress. It would not look good on me like that, but not everybody's a grandma. This is a size medium. Oh man, this is stunning for summer. Get yourself some little like Roman lacy up sandals or even the coolest of all cool flip flops. You know, even if you wanted to dud it up with some ankle booties. Oh, gorgeous. So I found these, um, these are Harley Davidson jeans, y'all. I want to show you the back pocket. You see how there's angels? So we're missing, we're missing a button. I just feel confident that people who are into, I've got rhinestones, people that are into Harley Davidson jeans don't give two firecrackers about that button missing. This is a tall size six. There is, it's a little, little bit worn. Oh, I thought there was a hole. There is no hole. hole. They're flared. Now, the bottom is ragged out, but only on this leg. I just watched a video by accident. You know how you get on Instagram and you can... You go down the real hole and you can't stop yourself. It's like you're addicted. It's like Pringles potato chips. You can't just eat one. And I saw this lady who, they take jeans that are torn up at the bottom like that and they show you a way to patch it and fix it. Super, super cool. Um, I'm not going to do that to this pair because whoever purchases these, they're going to want to put their, you know, they're going to want to do their own thing. The buttons on the back also have rhinestones. These are more of a low rise. Oh, these are so. The denim just feels nice, really nice. White House, black market. What a color. I don't know what you would call this. I don't know if it would be a bustier, um, strapless, fitted top, magnificent color size 10. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fantastic with a pair of slacks. Jeans. You want to dress up on jean night? You want to show a little midriff? Just, this would be just a baby midriff that would be showing. No. Be baby. If your jeans were high enough, you wouldn't even show any midriff. You could wear these with trousers, jeans. Um, I don't consider leggings pants. 
I know some of you do. I'm sorry, there needs to be something over this part of your body. <laughs> there are some tight-fitted trousers or pants that, matter of fact, the ones that are on my, this mannequin right here, these are, these are thicker. You could wear that with that top, for sure. This is Van Winkle and Company, and uh, this is an extra large, just a, a basic, well, it's not really basic. It's a V-neck. Can you see the, the shimmer? The shimmer and the threading, there we go. You can see it. Long sleeve. I don't know anything about this brand. I looked it up briefly, like super briefly. And comps, were, they were just all over the place. This is rayon, polyester, and spandex. 1% other fiber, well, what the hell is that? It's in excellent condition. Really, really great condition, and it's an extra large. I don't know where you live, but you know, sweaters like that in some part of the country, you can still wear in March and April. Find of the day. Find of the day. Find of the day. Everybody knows what this is. Tory Burch. New with tag. That's right, I said it. Size 10. Beautiful, beautiful. Type of parachute pant. You're not going to make these any tighter. Of course they have pockets. We have to have pockets. This is just an elastic pull-on. So when I have these in the listing, I'm going to have what it is, waist without being stretched, and then the waist being, being stretched. What a fantastic print. Can you see it? These retail, I'm sure the price was on here. 300, $300, $398. Embroidered pull-up cinch, cinched ankle pant. Ivory Sunny Day Classic Caramel. So $400 retail. I was so happy when I found these. This is the first time I've ever, ever found a new with tag. Matter of fact, I think Tory Burch. I think this is only the third or fourth time I've actually found anything by Tory Burch. You know, just... If I went to Austin, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, the bigger cities, then I'm sure that I would find that more often. But I don't live there. This is an American rag, 100% cotton flannel. It's a size small. Um, I think that this is guys, but I'm going to have to research it to make sure. Let me check right now. Buttons are on the left. Yeah, this is a men. It was in the wrong wrong section. These, when I looked these up real quickly, they're very expensive. They were it was like two or three hundred dollars. So, hundred percent cotton. You know, when does flannel go out of style? Never. What season can you not wear flannel? Well, if you're here in Texas, it's not a good idea in the summer, but lots of other places you can wear flannel. I picked up this American Eagle. Um, it's a basic gray sweater, V-neck. There is some wool in it. Look at the cuffs. Look at the cuffs. I know it's not winter. I don't care. Um, I keep all of my wool in the wool bins with cedar, cedar planks in them so that I don't have to worry about critters. Sneaking in and eating any of my wool things. I don't want my wool things to be it. White House Black Market. Extra small. Gorgeous, gorgeous print. Elastic waist. Look at the sleeves. Look at those ruffle sleeves. V-neck. Perfect. Put on a silver necklace. Put on some white beads, white pearls actually, or a black onyx string of black onyx to go with that. This is gorgeous. Jeans, white pants, white skirt. Do I have a white skirt? I do not have a white skirt. Oh, yes, I do. I have that. What am I talking about? I just had a white skirt. Yeah, that white skirt that I that I just had, the J Crew, the eyelet. 
Um, I picked this up last week, and I forgot to show it to you guys. I think I've already listed some stuff I picked up last week. A lot of vintage pieces, um, vintage sweaters. Look at the back. Look at that. Roses are in this year. These are, these are painted on. It's by Joanna. It's vintage, clearly. You actually can mach machine wash this. It's got shoulder pads. This is a size medium. Let me see if I can get it on. Sometimes a medium vintage is too small. Oh, no, I did. Look at that. I need to steam it. It does have a button. If you purchase something like this and it's oversized, oversized clothes were on the runway all this spring. So, you know, it's not a big deal. You can put a belt around it, but the, the issue with the belt around it is that you don't want to wear a spot in that, in that painting. So even as a medium, it looks a little bigger on me. If I had the right outfit underneath this, this is going to be cool. And you've got pockets. As soon as I saw the roses, it was snatch. <laughs> mine! Mine, 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 mine. These are Soprano. That's all I got. Trousers. Cuffed. Look at these trousers, pleated in the front. Um, I'm guessing that these are, are women's. It looks like a little bit of something, something. Is my, are my eyes playing games on me? Looks like there's a tiny wee something, something right here. But you, you'd have to, someone would have to get into, their face would have to practically be in the crack of your hiney to see that. I don't think any of us need to worry about that happening. So this is a 29 waist, 36 inches long. This doesn't look 36 inches long to me. Because these are high-waisted. I'm only 5'5", five five, and these are coming down to the bottom of my shoe. Um, to be honest, I bought these to try on. If they fit, I'm, I'm keeping these all day long. These are, they're just, they're, fanta they're a fantastic trouser. Um, I paid seven. I can't remember what they retail for. I looked it up. But the truth of the matter is, if they fit me, it's $7 for a pair of gold colored trousers is, is inexpensive. Polyester and rayon, dry clean only. So I'm hoping that these fit. Actually, if I wanted to be... Want to go all in? I could wear these two things together. I might wear these two things together. Oh Lord! These are just this is just a great pair of slacks. I can't think of any other tops that I got that that would go with them. It doesn't matter. I have those. I don't need anything else. Okay, I think I've shown you absolutely. Oh wait. No, I showed you that last week. I think I showed you, I picked up a vintage sweater last week by, I want to say, Michael Simon, and um, it had a circus theme all up. Wait, I've got, I've got two more things to show you. They're over here. Now, I didn't, I didn't buy these to resell. I bought these because I, I want to keep them. Now, I haven't done a ton of research on this piece. This was $4. Oh, snap. Taking the tag off is destroying the tag underneath, which is the exact opposite of what I wanted to do because I really wanted to see <gasps> Goodwill. Um, so I super quick checked this with Google Lens and it came up with Navajo. That doesn't mean that it is Navajo because I didn't find this exact boat 
with this exact design. So I'm going to have to dig into it a little more. I paid $3.99. I got 20% off of that. And the ones on eBay, look at the bottom. And the ones on eBay were selling for, I think, $40. So um, I love Native American things. I have more pieces here. I have baskets. I have other pieces of pottery. There is a chip. Oh, for the love of Mike. Look. Look at that. Well, Snapdragon on a Saturday night. I'm going to keep it anyway. Um, I've got two pieces in here. I'm supposed to have two pieces in here. I'm only stealing a point two. Maybe she wrapped it special. She did. So, um, I have zero clues what this is. And the reason is because the price tag is blocking the maker's mark on the bottom. I'm in Texas, so whenever I see this print, the first thing my brain says is it's a piece of Mexican pottery. And I love the Mexican pottery um, designs. This is not Mexican pottery. Have no clue. I have zero clues who that. If you guys know who that is, um, I apologize. I know you hear the dogs barking. They're in the backyard, and I'm sure uh, there's a squirrel out there, or the wind is blowing, and there's a blade of grass. I picked up this gorgeous ceramic piece because, again, I immediately thought it was Mexican pottery. It is not Mexican pottery. These two pieces clearly go together, so it could be like a chip and dip. I, I just, I love these, and so this was only two dollars. So I'm not, I'm not getting rid of it. I may figure out a way to just hang this on my wall, or not. Who knows? Who knows? Thank you guys so much for spending all this time with me. We've been, I've been talking to you now for. <laughs> Um, well, we don't need to talk about that, do we? Because you have things to do, and you don't need to know how long I kept you busy. My um, account on Poshmark is at Curly Joe's underscore closet, and on eBay, I am Curly Joe's hyphen closet. I'll put those in the uh, description below. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, like, and then follow this channel. I appreciate it. You guys spending so much time with me, and I hope that your thrifting week is better than mine. Have a great day.